Happy Saturday and welcome to the weekend. Hope you have a great weekend. This is Father Mark over at Christ the Redeemer Catholic Church in Thibodeau. And we are in our last installment of week three in a series entitled Choose to Live, right? This whole year, as we have begun the year together, we have talked about how we need to be intentional about living differently if this year is going to be the best year of your life. And first of all, if you're still with me, at the end of the third week, I just want to say I'm proud of you. It's great to be with you. I know that making a commitment to commitment and being with the process has been something that's new for us. And so for if that's you, if uh, you, you are somebody who listening to podcasts like this is something new and you're not used to it, I just want to say I'm proud that you're hanging with the process here in the third week. This third, this, this third week was all about living right in relationship choosing to live in relationship with people. Hey, next week, we're going to talk about living selflessly. And those two things, those two images come together in the gospel this weekend. This weekend's gospel comes from Luke chapter 3, where we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. And in Luke chapter 3, we see John the Baptist baptizing Jesus. But their relationship started much earlier. In fact, we can go back to Luke chapter 1, where we can see that when Mary, pregnant with Jesus after the Annunciation, visited Elizabeth in Judea, and when she arrived at Elizabeth's house, it was John in Elizabeth's womb who stirred, leapt in the womb because Jesus was near. John the Baptist and Jesus have had a relationship with each other when they were in the womb. Let's take a look at first Jesus and then John the Baptist and see how they are a bridge for us from week three to week four of the series that we're in. When Jesus is baptized in the gospel this weekend, he's going to hear the voice of the Father say to him, and I quote from Luke chapter 3, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. What's happening in the baptism is Jesus is reminded who he is because he's reminded whose he is. He is the Father's Son. And it's from that relationship that his identity is given to him, right? Jesus was always in relationship with the Father, right? And and he speaks to us about this past week, right? That we were made for relationship, that we're going to be ultimately satisfied in our relationships and ultimately satisfied in our relationship with God. But here's the good news. Even Jesus needed John the Baptist, right? This past week, we talked about how we need Christian friendship. We need authentic Christian community. Hey, even Jesus had the apostles, Even Jesus had John the Baptist. That friendship that they had was something that nurtured John the Baptist's relationship, right? John the Baptist needed Jesus in his life. He needed people around him, just like we all need people in our lives. And as we look to John the Baptist, we also see that John the Baptist never took attention on himself, right? He lived selflessly. He even, when asked if he was the Messiah, said that, I'm not worthy to untie The Messiah's like the straps on his sandals. Like John the Baptist also knew who he was because he knew who Zu was. John the Baptist knew that he was also for God and for God alone, right? And that's what formed his identity. So John the Baptist didn't have to be who he wasn't. He could just be who he was, right? John the Baptist lived life selflessly, and that was a really beautiful thing. Hey, that's where we're going next week. If we want this year to be the best year of your life, We need to decrease so that God might increase. You might say we need more space in our life for God. And that's what we're going to talk about next week, how we can create space in our life for God so that we can choose to live in relationship with God. Hey, here's the one thing that you can do this week, and that is ask yourself today, what is it that you most want from God as you go to Mass this weekend? Ask yourself, what's the one thing that you want the Lord to speak to in your life. And as you go into Mass tomorrow, I want you to expect that God is going to speak to you. I know that we go to Mass every Sunday. We get real familiar with it. God wants to say something to you this weekend. Or maybe you're listening to these podcasts and you don't go to Mass regularly. Hey, hey, from my Father's heart to you, I just want to encourage you to maybe think about that. I'm not saying that you have to do that, but just encouraging you that maybe you're out of space in life where God wants to speak to you. He just needs a little permission. He needs a little help. Maybe this is the weekend that you could go to Mass. But if you do go to Mass, let's just be open and expect God to say something. Let's expect miracles to happen in our lives. Looking forward to walking with you next week as we talk about how to live selflessly. And until that happens, God bless you.